Hello. At the weekend, we posted our second live stream and as you can maybe hear from the sound of this video so far, it was a bit of a disaster because we couldn't work out a way of getting a near a good, shall we say, a good sound, a good sound balance between a microphone for me and a microphone for the piano and all working into our camera. Now the camera is my iPhone and that has its own sort of problems that go along with it. We can't afford expensive cameras and expensive camera mixing stuff. When we're doing a live stream now today's little video is all about how we, i've kind of worked out a solution using the equipment that we do have and a whole batch of adapters that you need to get that sound into the iphone so that we actually could make a decent sounding live stream so to start off in our home now this is the home we rent at the moment we can't afford to buy our own home um, this is the home we rent and it's all very sort of open plan. We have a living room here, there's a dining room just behind where you are and then there's the kitchen and then there's a sort of hallway area over there and there's a sort of an upstairs area over there. There's a room at the, at the back as it were that uh, has a little sort of atrium style thing at the front so it's a very high ceiling in this part of the house and that of course makes quite an acoustic and of course when you play piano as well as talk at the same time then the little microphones on the iPhone don't know where the sound is coming from and you know mix it all together somehow and it makes a bit of a sort of a mess so what i want to show you today is how using the equipment or the limited equipment we have at the moment how we could maybe get some kind of sound together for a live stream and then of course we have to sort of work work at getting a better sound if we're going to be live streaming regularly which by the look of the current situation uh, looks like we are going to be live streaming on a regular basis and uh, it might be worth shelling out on something a little bit more, shall we say, professional. Certainly not camera-wise, that's too expensive, but certainly for the sound. I personally think the sound is more important than the video, especially when we're talking about music videos. What do you think? So, up to now, we have our microphones that we bought last year. Remember, I bought some very nice uh, Sontronics microphones last year, and they're great for going into churches, pointing at the organ, a nice stereo sound, and all we need is an interface to get that sound into a PC. It's actually my wife's MacBook Air that we use, and that is that then sort of mixes the sound down. I use Logic for that, Logic Pro. And um, I then take that audio file and I mix that together with the, um, with the video file that's usually made by, with an iPhone, and I use Premiere for that on my PC and we mix that all together and that works. So all you need for that is a two-channel interface that takes the sound straight into your PC and for that we've been using this cheapy chappy. Uh, it's a very um, very reasonably priced two-channel USB interface and it's great because all it has two inputs and a USB output and a couple of other things that we don't need at least not until now um, and it's you know it's great it has a very low sound level of its own so it's practically these microphone preamps that are in there are very very good quality actually and uh, the sound that we get out of those microphones is quite amazing i really don't tweak the sound at all for our videos so up to now it's been absolutely fine problem is of course it has rather limited outputs so we thought um to shall we say get a live sound there's obviously no mixing possibilities here yeah? all you can do is change the gain of the microphone and that's it you can't change the output, you can change the output level of the whole thing, and that's it. Now, for last week's live stream, I wanted to connect an RCA, yeah, a chinch cable that I had, which went to a mini clinker, which is one of those, you know, little, little adapter, and that through a different adapter would then go into the iPhone and create the sound. Problem is, the level of that was so high, it just kept sort of blowing the iPhone up, it couldn't record it, it was too much. So I couldn't work a way around it. Now I did now order, and it's come today, so that's why we're making this video. I ordered a clinker cable, so line out to a MIDI, uh, sorry, to a mini clinker, so we can now put it through at various adapters into the iPhone for a live stream. Don't forget, this is only for live stream, and you can control the actual line out level of this machine. So that has kind of worked today. It's not, of course, a perfect stereo mixed sound because we're using this microphone in channel one and one of those microphones on channel two, okay? But the idea is so that you get a balanced sound between my voice and the piano, which we haven't had up to now in the live streams. Does that make sense? It's very complicated. Okay. So I'm gonna 
build this together now and show you exactly what you need. So you need some kind of power supply, and I've got my just my normal battery pack, which I'm using for that. Now, um, the one microphone, that's the microphone currently attached to the piano, that goes in here. And now we have this microphone. This is my lavalier microphone, and I'm using one by Rode, that's an Australian company. And I've got it plugged into my little sender unit here. And the receiver unit obviously goes into channel one. Now normally it's one of these mini clinkers. So I have an adapter number one here to make it big enough to go in there. So that is our setup so far. Now let me switch these on and link them together. It's quite easy. The, the sort of work on wireless, they have a sort of wireless signal that work very well together. So all I have to do is get them to connect to each other which happens round about now. Yes. And as you can see on here, this is my microphone now. It's picking up the signal here. So that signal is now going into our interface. But we're not using it as an interface. We're using it as a mixer. So now I have to get the sound out of it and into the iPhone. Okay, so end of part one, we've got the sound going into the interface. Now we have to get it out of the interface into the iPhone. So at the weekend, I was trying this with my, uh, with my RCA, with my chinch cable, and it wasn't working. The sound was just way too loud. So I ordered one of these on the internet. And what this is, it's very clever. It's just clink it for the left output, clink it for the right output, and they go into a stereo mini clinker cable. Okay, that's all it is. Now, to get that into the iPhone is the next step. So, obviously, you get one of these adapters with your iPhone, or at least you used to, and that takes like a headphone jack, takes like a headphone jack, and turns it into a lightning jack, which goes into your iPhone. Problem is, however, this is only stereo, and this from Apple is designed to take a microphone and stereo headphones. So that's three different things. So now we need an adapter that takes the two left and right side from our jack from the interface. It turns it into three to pretend there's something else in there as well. Now I sometimes I actually use this when we're doing our normal videos. I have the receiver element of the roder going into that which then goes into this which then goes into the iPhone. So how many adapters have we got here? We've got one, theoretically that's an adapter, two, three, and I'm using an adapter here. So it's four different adapters just to get this sound to work. Can you imagine how long it took me to work all this up? Very complicated, but finally it works. And now when we plug this end into the iPhone, you will be able to hear the difference. So after much uh, playing around with levels and things like that, this is about as good as we can get it using the equipment that we have. Now, I say that because it's still not ideal in any way, but it's better. So, as you can hear, this is my, my uh, pin-on pin microphone. I said pin-up, but pin-on microphone. So, we've gotten rid of all that sort of acoustic of our living room. And the microphone for the piano is set so low that it's not clipping the whole time. That's very, uh, obviously it's coming over both microphones, so this interface gets very confused about the sound coming from all the different channels at the same time. Clips regularly and that makes for horrible effects on there. Um, but it sounds like a piano. <laughs> I think it sounds like a piano. We're going to check that before this uh, goes on to the next scene, but that's about as good as we can get it at the moment. Now, it's better than it was at the weekend. That much is true, but it's still nowhere near ideal. What do you think? So, it's not ideal, as you can hear, but um, it's a start, yeah? So I think the only way to make it better would be to actually have a dedicated mixer that can take the sound mix it down to a certain level before it then leaves and goes into the iPhone. Obviously, we're not using any kind of professional DSLR to get the, that you can plug microphones into them and they make good sounds, or you can plug a mixer directly into them, it sounds better. This isn't a mixer. This is an, it's a sound interface, an audio interface. It's designed to take the two channels that are there, 
fire them via USB into a PC so that you can then mix the sound together as you need it for your end results, as it were. So it's not ideal for what it is. Now, maybe I'm doing something wrong. Maybe you know this device and maybe you can sort of recognize what we're doing here and maybe there's something I'm doing wrong and you think we can do it better. Um, I think the only logical next step is to get a small mixer so that we can take at least the stereo piano sound, that would be the two microphones over there, and my microphone here, so that would be at least three inputs, um, and then that, is then that sound is then mixed in the mixing desk, as it were, before it then, via this cable, before it then leaves the mixer to go into the iPhone. I think that's the only actual option if we want to get a real decent live sound. We're only talking about live here, yeah? We're not talking about our, our normal productions when we're out and about and using a PC to record these things, and then I have the time to sit down at the PC and mix everything together. Uh, we're only talking about sound for live. So maybe there are some people out there who know what they're doing a bit better than I do, and can help me. Let me know via the usual channels. Comments below. So that's basically it for today. It was a technical video. Oh, here comes our glorious assistant. He's not, oh, he's, oh, he's a bit tired. Come to Papa. Mama sit. Mama sit. Yeah, ja, bist du fein. Oh, he's tired. He's tired. But we need to take out, he's come over now because we need to get out, go for a walk. So that was a good sort of little uh, close off for today's video. Yeah, ja, Masit. Masit. Perfect. Oh, what a beautifully behaved dog. He's a bit sleepy today. Uh, so yeah, it was a technical video. Maybe you can help me, like I said in the last scene. That would be kind of cool if you can help us out a little bit further. Now, uh, so I think it's time to close off for today. We will take him out for a walk in the sun. We're allowed to do that still, so we're going to go and do that. And then I'm going to go into the garage and complete, or at least complete, parts of my old car so that I can get it ready for the start of the summer season. Now, by the time this video goes out, tomorrow will be the 1st of April. Yeah, that's right. And from the 1st of April, I can drive my old Mercedes through the summer season. It's only registered between uh, April and October. So I have a couple of things still to do. And you can see what I do on that if you check out my other car channel. That's my hobby channel. It's called Gartro's Garage. There's a link up in the corner. And uh, yeah, see what I do with my old car. I'm, I mainly break it and then try to put it back together again to get it to work. So that's the plan. Tonight, I want to get everything sorted out so I can get it out and about on the 1st of April again tomorrow. Um, so that's it. So yeah, there's our little interface. That's as good as we can get it for just now. I'm going to close off with a little piece of music on piano and we'll see you again over the next few days. Uh, we haven't had our complete and utter lockdown yet. Things keep changing around the world. Yeah. So I hope you are staying safe and uh, healthy and uh, using using the situation to, to the best you can. Um, if you are allowed out for an hour every day, then please do that. Go out and get some fresh air. It does you the world of good. And uh, don't forget the rest of the time when you're at home, you should be watching organ videos. I suggest Fraser Garcho. That's a channel all about organ videos. Watch, watch through the past videos. See if there's anything you like. Don't forget to comment. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Okay, see you next time. Maybe the next time will be our live stream at the weekend, or maybe there'll be another video in between. We've got all this time on our hands that we can spend doing things. But for now, I shall sign off, play a piece of music, and we'll see you at the latest at the weekend. Bye-bye. <laughs>